In a moment, a unique art exhibition put together by the children of Bangkok's Mercy Center. But first, let's go and meet the Blues Machine, a very popular band in Pattaya. If you venture into the Blues Factory on Pattaya's Walking Street, you'll hear the unforgettable sounds of resident band, the Blues Machine. From the emotive guitar of the snowman. at the Blues Factory and one of the best bands you can catch here well on most nights of the week is the Blues Machine and two of the key people in the band were sitting right here with them Snowman over here and the gorgeous Mary Hi. Hey. now you look amazing Thank you. and I've got to show everyone your microphone can you show me that that is pretty cool isn't it yeah. originally made by me that's how I marry you're from the Philippines yep how did you end up here in Pattaya? Well, it's, to make the story short, after 20 years of okay. staying almost all apart in Europe, I said, I'm fed up of snow. So I come here in Thailand, and I met another kind of snow, yeah, which, snow I really love, <laughs> which I really love, and here I am enjoying still yeah. this kind of a music. Now blues music, I mean a lot of people think that the blues is quite sad, Yeah. but it, it, it's not It's not all about being down, is it? No, because we uh, we always love, the, there's a song who, uh, who told about that, that the blues put some soul on it, some R&B on it, and of course life on it, it's, it's, blues is the root of the music, so it's not only, oh I'm dying and you know, I'm despair, no, that's wrong. We, we, we really got a lot of uh, nice blues uh, uh, movement here, and it's really fun. To, it's real life, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Mostly, that's a really important. <laughs> live. No computer, no hustle. I love all kinds of music, you know, and and, and I've, I've sang since I was 14, so I've sang all kinds of music, but most of all, what I love with blues is that I quite interact with the song you know you can really feel the story so it's it's, it's fun i can feel it out there in the audience you know you're really into it it's amazing this woman has an amazing voice which you'll soon see now we can't ignore snowman over here Hello. hi there Hello. <laughs> now i'm guessing you're called snowman because of your amazing hair i mean it's uh, it's pretty incredible yeah thank you but no no that's not the reason and it's a real long story so <laughs> Can you condense it into about that long? <laughs> oh, let's see, uh, I was on the road for a very long time and uh, uh, the, the, one of the bands that I had broke up and we were playing up in Canada and uh, I was just very tired of the road and went back to California where I was living at the time and uh, um, didn't play for a long time, decided that maybe if I, if I had something else to bring money in another job that I could uh, go back to the music that I love the most and that I grew up playing. Um, so that summer, a lot of shaved ice stands, you know what those are? They started opening up around uh, the California area, and I was familiar with them from playing in Hawaii. And uh, I bought a machine, I moved to, to Miami Beach, and I opened up a place called uh, Miami Beach Snowball, right on Ocean Drive, right right before the start taking off, 1986 this was. And, uh, when, the, when South Beach and, uh, and uh, Ocean Drive started taking off, I put a band together, an eight-piece horn band, uh, and started playing the clubs of Clevelander and the Tropics along Ocean Drive. Well, my customers were mostly surfers and beach people, and they would come into the club and they would see me playing, and they didn't know this my name. Is a snowman. Oh, yeah, so it's like a snow <laughs> you end up here in Pass here at the Blues Factory? Is that another long story? The last band that I have, we were working 200, 250 dates a year on the road out of Miami. And if you know where Miami is, there's only one way to go. If you get out, so we're on the road doing festivals and things like that. And we figured we needed a, a vacation. So uh, I had always wanted to come to Thailand. My, my cousin Mary grew up in Bangkok. And so I made arrangements to come here. And uh, three weeks before the vacation was going, the band broke up. So I didn't 
know what I was going to do, and I just uh, thought, well, I'll take my vacation, and I'll come back, and figure it out then. And I needed, it. I needed the vacation after five years of uh, all those dates. And uh, uh, the second week, I would say the first week, uh, they just did all the tourist stuff in, in Bangkok. The second week, they dropped me off at the uh, condo in Jantian, and the second day, I walked in here, and uh, uh, Greg Carroll was the band leader, and I sat in, and he hired me along with the bosses, and I've been here. I went home and came back, been here seven years now. So. Wow, seven years, amazing. And that good time goes fast. It does go fast, and you obviously enjoy it, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. So if anyone wants to catch you guys here at the Blues Factory, what nights are you normally on? Well, right now, because of off-season, we're on an abbreviated schedule uh, where we play from uh, Friday to Tuesday. Normally, we're on every night except Wednesday. So, but there's live music here seven nights a week. Either either we're here, or the or the rock machine, the rock band is here, or two bands. So, seven nights a week entertainment here. So there you go, walking streets, not just about hip hop and house and bars and so on. It's about really cool places like this, isn't it? If you uh, look for a real, real good stuff, relaxing place, Blues Factory. Absolutely. Blues Factory. We're at the Blues Machine. Yeah. Or alternative to, to everything else. And it's a great alternative, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, get in here and check it out. The Blues Factory and the Blues Machine. These guys are really cool. Fantastic. Oh, now, Snowman, you were showing me this award a little earlier. Can you yeah, tell me sure. about that? Well, uh, it's been in a lot of write-ups, uh, but I uh, figured it, the TV audience should see it. They've read a lot about it. This is an award I won in 1992 as part of a duo called Piano Bob and the Snowman from the National Blues Foundation in, in Memphis, Tennessee, which is now the International Blues Foundation, the IBC International Blues Challenge. This is the B.B. King Lucille Award, and it was awarded to us by the Memphis Horns, See BB's signature there. Oh, we wow, look at that. Opening up for BB on many concerts. Yeah. Oh. Absolute legend, yeah? Yeah, a great, a wonderful man, too. Fantastic. Well, you should hang that over your mantelpiece, I think. Well, actually, I don't want to think about hanging it at the club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just put that in a pride of, a pride of place, I yeah. think, definitely. Thanks. Have to go back and get another one. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> If you need a good dose of the blues, then the Blues Factory can deliver the right formula for a cool night out. The Blues Machine!